I ain't, I'm not doing that. I'm staying right should where I should be. <laughs> I know my role. Hey everyone, it's Lehua here, and welcome to the Superfina channel. If you're new here, I am a variety content creator, and I also stream on Twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. And I got into playing Final Fantasy XIV online. It's my first MMO. And I really, really, really like it to the point that I want to make videos about it because I've experienced so much stuff, a lot of stuff, and I want to talk about them. In this video, we're going to talk about my first time in a dungeon called Tamtara. Tamtara is the second dungeon we run into. So as a new person to MMO and I just got into my class and what I mean by I just got into my class is I just got used to it. I mean, this is a second dungeon and my class was a black mage, a caster. And for me, a caster, when we cast, it does take a few seconds. So it's like casting. I shit you not that while I'm casting, I'm seeing the melee classes going like boom, boom, pow, pow, swing, swing, swing. In the same time, I'm casting, which I don't mind because I hit hard. I'm a black mage, I hit hard. And so I did Tamtara with two friends. One was a tank and one was a healer. And when we do dungeons, we go into dungeons with random people it's when people do roulettes people who are being put in dungeons randomly or people who are like me going through the story and they have to do this dungeon like they have to so i went with two friends the party is made out of four people one tank one healer and two DPS. I'm a DPS. I deal damage per second. That's what DPS means. So normally what happens in the dungeon, the tank leads and the tank emits aggro. The tank attracts the enemies and us DPS will like attack all the enemies while the tank keeps their attention. The healer heals the tank so the tank can stay alive while still attracting all the enemies. So like I said before, I went with two other friends. This was their second time going. They went before me and they went a second time for me. And they were going to show me like how it works. And there's a second DPS. Remember, I was one and there's another one. We didn't know this person. So my friends and I, we were on voice chat and we were like, we're doing the dungeon doing the thing, knowing our roles, we're doing our roles. Tank in the front, DPS in the back, following, healer, keeping track of everybody's health, you know? And then all of a sudden, the other DPS, which was also a caster, runs ahead. We're like, what is this person doing? What is this person doing? They're running ahead. I'm like, okay, I, I, I'm not doing that. I'm staying right should, where I should be. <laughs> I know my role. <laughs> and then we see the other DPS running back and there's enemies falling behind them. We're like, wait, wait, we're not ready because we just encountered some enemies. And it's like this DPS went further ahead, grabbed more, creating a big pool. And the pool is when it's usually when the tank pulls in the enemies with their aggro and so we were like we're not ready we don't know this dungeon very well like brah this is my first time this was my friend's second time we were like no 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 we didn't want a big pull like this oh we were getting so mad at this other person we were dealing with it and we're like okay we'll just keep going maybe this was a one-time thing maybe right we keep going and the other DPS does it again. And we're like, stop doing this. Fortunately, you know, we didn't die. 
my friend who was a healer was keeping us alive, healthy. But damn, that was... So as I said before, I was new. My friends were new too. We just learned our roles. We learned that what we need to do in these dungeons. And we had someone who was doing something different. We're like, what the F are you doing? We made an effort to learn our roles. Why can't you? We're still in the dungeon. We keep going. And then... The person did it again, and this was too big. This pool was too big, and my tank friend died. My tank friend died, and he blamed my healer friend, and he's telling my healer friend, you're, you're a shitty healer. Do your job. And my friend was like, I am doing my job. Stop freaking <laughs> other DPS. <laughs> Bullying more enemies. <laughs> we were talking so much shit about the other DPS. <laughs> oh gosh. And that was my first experience with Tom Tara. Later on, much later, much, much, much later, I learned that sometimes casters like myself or other dps or healers we just we can't help but attract the enemies especially a healer healers attract them really easily if the tank isn't emitting aggro if the tank isn't pulling them in so what i learned was if that ever happens then we just run towards the tank. And then once we're near the tank, the tank will pull the enemies that are chasing us. And then we just run back to our positions. Now, I would understand if that other caster DPS was going through that same experience. But they weren't. They were deliberately doing that. They were running ahead and bringing them back. It's not like we were running as a group, you know, running as a group. And then all of a sudden, enemies come from the side of us, behind us, and us DPS and here are like, No! Stop chasing us! It wasn't like that. And sometimes that, sometimes that does happen. <laughs> but this one, on my second dungeon, Tom Tara, with that DPS, clearly they were going ahead and pulling the enemies and bringing it back to us. Now, the only thing I could think of is they, they were doing a roulette. They were doing a roulette. And a roulette is people can do this every day. And when they do a roulette, they get extra experience. And the extra experience will help level up their character slash class faster. Some people like to rush through these. You know, get it over with. My only assumption or theory is that this person was trying to rush it. They were trying to rush the dungeon run, which was such a jerk thing to do, especially for new people. I mean, it was my first time and my friend's second time. It's not like we knew everything about this dungeon. I look back at it and I'm laughing and I was laughing at that time too because we were so upset with this other person. We were talking so much shit. We were like, what the F was this person doing? What are they doing? And I look at their handle and they was like, their name is this. And I was naming them like, I, oh, I totally forgot what their name was. It was like Kurusumi or something like that. Kurusumi's doing this. Kurusumi's doing that. <laughs> I was putting a name on the perpetrator. <laughs> I'll never forget this. This was back in May. I did this dungeon back in May. And I've done like many dungeons after. I've done about 43 dungeons afterwards. And I have an idea how things work and how to be a little bit more relaxed or not so upset when people don't do what they're supposed to do there's going to be more series later on so if you have any experiences about tom tara let me know in the comments or let me know in the discord there's a discord too i'll leave i'll leave a link in the description and if you like this video don't forget to give this video a like 
And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. I'm going to be trying to upload these videos weekly. I also have a podcast, Podcast Across Worlds, where we talk about anime, manga, and other topics we're interested in. I'll leave a link of that in the description too if you like anime and manga. And like I said before, I stream Final Fantasy XIV at twitch.tv slash Lihua Superfina. Come on by, hang out, talk story, let me know your experiences with dungeons and such. <laughs> we all, we, a lot of us in the community do play Final Fantasy XIV, so we all got stories. Let me tell you, we all have stories. <laughs> so come on by, we're welcoming. Other than that, thank you for watching this video. My name is Lehua. This was a Superfina video about my experiences in Final Fantasy XIV. Hope you guys liked this and I will see you later. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump. <laughs>